Hey guys, I'm sorry I couldn't be in class with you today, but I wanted to talk with you about taking your science fair notes and turning them into your hamburger paragraph like we talked about last week. Um, we remember that the top bun is your topic sentence and then there were several sentences that are your detail sentences. Those were the toppings like the lettuce and the tomato and the bacon and the cheese and the hamburger, all the things that go inside your hamburger. And then the conclusion sentence was the bottom bun that kind of closes the hamburger or in this case our paragraph and makes it complete. Now you have your note sheet filled out. You'll notice that mine has colors on it and I did that on purpose to help you guys see where I'm taking the information on my note sheet and where it fits in on the hamburger. So if you'll look at the note sheet, my science fair question was, are natural cleaners better than chemical cleaners? And my topic that I was looking at to write my paragraph are, what are the dangers of cleaning products? Now, both of those are natural cleaners better than chemical cleaners. And then um, what are the dangers? Both of those are question starters. And we want to take those and create a statement or a regular sentence that ends with a period, not a question mark. So I need to take those two lines, that information, and build a sentence out of it. So I'm going to come over here to my topic sentence, to my top bun, and I'm going to say that cleaning products can be dangerous because of chemical ingredients. And that's my topic. So the rest of my paragraph should have to do with the fact that cleaning products are dangerous because they have chemical ingredients in it. Now, when I move to the detail sentences in, this, in the middle section, I'm going to add the details from the notes that I took from my website. So you can see my three green boxes on my note sheet. Those are going to become, those details are going to become my sentences over here on my topping lines of my hamburger. So I'm going to start with what makes them dangerous? We know it's chemical ingredients, but they're dangerous to what? So I'm going to write, they are hazardous, another word for dangerous, so I can use a synonym, to our environment and our bodies. So we're letting people know it's not only dangerous and harmful to us personally, it's also dangerous to our environment. So in the next box, I'm going to kind of explain that a little bit. Improper disposal of chemicals can affect the soil and water supply as well as our crops. Oops, I spelled it. Okay, so now we understand how it affects our environment. Because people don't dispose of chemicals or throw them away properly, it can actually get into the ground, which can affect our, our crops and our vegetables and our food, and it can get in the water supply, which can affect us in that way too. So now let's talk about how it's harmful to our body. Hazardous chemicals can cause many, oops, That cause many health problems, including cancer, burns, and irritations. Now, I don't know, I know it's kind of small, and I'm sorry for that. It was the only way I could get it so you guys could see everything. But over here in my notes, I found on this website that they told us that several of several different problems cancer and burns, but then there are skin problems, breathing problems, and irritated eyes. So I kind of lumped those all together in irritations. These issues can occur immediately or over time. We'll make that box just a tiny bit bigger so you can see that it's all green. Okay, and then my last sentence down here in my summary, I included a sentence about the fact that the government doesn't require ingredients to be listed. And it's also right here. I found it on this website as well, this last little bullet point. So that's going to become my last detailed sentence in my paragraph. Unfortunately, the government 
does not require companies to list ingredients, making it hard, let's say difficult, difficult to know what is harmful. So that brings up another reason that chemical cleaning products are dangerous because the government doesn't make them tell you what's in it. And that can mean we're using things that are dangerous for us, but that we don't even know that they're there. If you look at the bottom bun, that's all I have left. And that's going to come out of my summary. I said that commercial cleaning products can be harmful, um, can contain harmful chemicals that can be hazardous to our bodies in the environment. And those are the things that I mentioned up here. So my concluding sentence is going to reference back to my topic sentence as well as kind of wrap up and let my audience know that I'm, I'm finished. So I'm going to use a transition. As a result, people are turning to natural alternatives to avoid the dangerous chemicals of cleaning, I spelled that wrong, sorry about that guys, chemicals of cleaning products. All right, Make my blue box a little bit bigger so you can see it all a little bit better. Okay, so here's my paragraph now taken from my note sheet. Cleaning products can be dangerous because of chemical ingredients. They are hazardous to our environment and our bodies. Improper disposal of chemicals can affect the soil and water supply as well as our crops. Hazardous chemicals can cause many health problems including cancer, burns, and irritations. These issues can occur immediately or over time. Unfortunately, the government does not require companies to list ingredients making it difficult to know what is harmful. As a result, people are turning to natural alternatives to avoid the dangerous chemicals of cleaning products. So now you can see I've taken what I had on my note sheet and I've made it into my paragraph. Now, the next time we get together and talk, whether it's this way or me in person, um, we will take the, what's left on our note sheet, these white boxes, and turn that into our bibliography. So we've still got to do that part before we're completed our research portion of our science fair projects. If you have any questions, check with Ms. Dry. If not, I'll be in there to see you guys again soon. Good luck writing your paragraphs, and I can't wait to see them all.